Hey guys, I see you guys come in. I'm just setting up the video to have all of the description stuff. Bear with me just one second. I just want to have the description ready for you guys. Okay. Hi guys. Sorry. I'm like, I just, um, I wanted to get the description set up and stuff before I got on live. So, oh my gosh, my hair is dripping all over that chair. Just, um, washed it. Don't touch. Can you say hi to everybody? So, my mom and I have been on like a sample craze, and so uh, we've been making samples. I started listing the other night because we have a bunch of stuff that we haven't listed um that we've made already and I, I just haven't gotten around to listing so i'll probably focus on listing um tonight um after the live and then tonight what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be doing a bunch of samples um i did two yesterday and i'm gonna do a few more today my mom's been on like a tutu kick she made all of these tutus this week and she's working on another one. I'll show you guys them. She made this one for this shirt that I just made yesterday. For this shirt, which I actually am filming a video that is gonna go up probably tomorrow and I show you guys how I put together this design. This is basically three designs in one. 
and um, it's kind of cool because I kind of incorporated one of the appliques into another applique, like if it was part of it. I don't know if you can see that I put like a little drip as if the, as if the, the number is dripping. So um, this one's going to go with this. I just have to um, still iron it and stuff. haven't ironed it. And then... She also made this one, which I'm going to do like a, one second. I'm Okay, so I made, she made this one, which is like a beige and a pink. And then for this one, we're gonna, I'm gonna do the boho rainbow again for this one. Um, this one's like a pink one with a white one with pink. And then she made this one. Wow, this one's really fluffy, mommy. How bonito. Tú sabes que me estoy dando cuenta. ¿Qué? Que le estoy poniendo demasiado elástico. No entiendo. No, no, este, este está perfecto. Le, le, le estoy reduciendo el elástico porque no necesita... Yo después te voy a explicar. Um, so she made this one for... To go, I think, with this. I believe. this one which I really love she made this one she still has to put bows and um, like you know perfect them sometimes. for this shirt which I actually have to redo because I made this shirt over a year ago well not a year I would say like months ago like eight months um, but I don't really love the design of it I'm gonna change the flowers to have a, a peach um, center and then the butterflies are going to do the peach so that it goes with this tutu. So yeah, I think it's really cute. So today I'm just going to focus on that. Um, I have to remake this shirt. To remake this shirt. with this fabric I've had these fabrics for such a long time and I just haven't gotten around to making samples for it um, so yeah I think I'm gonna focus on these today and then I'm gonna do a sample of a bulldozer um, for a little boy and then I found this really cute llama design that is so adorable I really want to do that I think the llama design will go really nice with um, one of the tutus that has the green incorporated into it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Hey guys, hey everyone that just joined. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let me turn on the iron. I rehab it on.
Okay. I want to show you guys the design that I'm going to make. Oh, this is the crane design, not a bulldozer, a crane design I'm going to do. So I did this one for a little boy, special little boy. And then I also did this one last night. I have to, um, I have to, um, iron it, but I made this one. So this one is a skid steer, and then that one's the crane. And then I want to show you guys the one that the, the one that I designed for this boat fabric. It has like a boat steering wheel. I just bought the boat steering wheel. What do you call it? The, the hem? I don't remember what you called it. Um, so I did like the number, I'm going to do the number one with a boat steering wheel. I just don't remember. So this is the design of the steering wheel. Sorry guys, let me just grab the right design. This is the design. So I think this one's the one that I'm gonna do first. It's easier. Actually, no, I think I'm going to put the crane on this one and then I'm going to make this one on the other machine. Okay. So I'm just going to be silent for a little bit because my mom's machine is really loud and I don't think you guys can hear me very well. Um, that way when she's done, um, she won't be using it anymore so you guys can hear me better. Um, let me go hooping the shirts that I'm going to make first and then decide on fabric. I'm bring you guys this way so you guys aren't watching the, my daughter's show. I love the table. Love, love, love the table. Um, I have it linked, I believe, in my description box. I think it was like $160. And it honestly, out of everything that I've bought for this craft room, um, this, I think, has been my favorite thing. And I think also my mom's favorite. Hey, mommy, a ti te gusta de todas las cosas de la mesa? Me encanta la mesa. She says her favorite thing is also the table. Yeah, she says that even though when we open it, we feel very crammed, which is true. But honestly, it's amazing. It really, 
makes up for the space that we didn't have here, that we weren't using here in the middle. Like, I guess now you could say that we're using every inch of this room, like the walls, every inch of the floor, everything. There's not one inch in this room that we are not using. <laughs> Right, the only thing, the only corner that we don't have anything on is that corner over there and that's because we don't like having things hovering over the baby's playpen because we just don't feel it's very safe. Um, so we have a wall there that we wish we could put a shelf but we can't because um, just for the safety of the baby we don't want to um, have anything on top of her. So, yeah. But I definitely recommend the table there's anything that you want to buy definitely recommend the table it really just helps you out uh, it's just very handy definitely very handy my mom was actually the one who mentioned it Once again. funcionaría limpiar estos hoops dejándolos en agua es que me da miedo que se oxiden que se vaya a oxidar el metal mételo así ah, bueno. en una cubeta Está bien. no importa que esto no se quite pero por lo menos donde yo si si sí, sí, todo eso se limpia lo no pero no tenemos tiempo para estar el... ese es el problema que hay que estar dando y dando y dando y dando con el líquido ese y que va ese líquido está un poquito are there a lot of people on live no, no sé. So I won't be going live this weekend. It's kind of why I wanted to go live today. Um, because on Saturday I have a date night with Roger. And then on Sunday I work at Mac all day. So I'll be there. So I won't be able to do a live on Sunday like I usually do. Yes, date night. We actually didn't really do date nights, but I, since he started school, I thought it would be nice to at least either Friday or Saturday, like just spend the night together, do Ooh. something together. Um, I think I want to tell him because I kind of want to go to the beach, but it's cold. La playa está fría, verdad? It's cold down here in Miami right now, so we are all shook. Congelado está. We are all very shook by the temperature here. All right, so let's come this way. Let me cut the fabric. This one should be fairly simple. Actually, I think I already cut the fabric. 
Yo corté la tela de esto ya, ¿verdad? A ver. El del bote. Ahí están. Yo te puse todo lo que tú que tenías ahí. En, 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 ahí está, arriba con esto. Quiero ver si está por ahí. Sí. So I already had it cut. ¿Qué tú le vas a poner un bote al lado? Un. Ah, sí. Esto, mira. Sí, yo creo que lo vi. Me encanta. Mm -hmm. It's very simple, pero. Pero. I think it's cute. Ese tiene 8 pulgadas de largo. 8, eso es too much. This is too, too big. No sé por qué yo los hago tan grandes. Con 5, yo fui con 6 y esta es fine. Tienes que ponerme el de la, el de la coronita para hacerlo. Oh, yeah. No sé qué tú, tú, ya tú, tú lo tienes ya. Pero no sé qué tú, tú por esta. Para Yo creo que el beige, ¿no? Porque el beige tiene. Oh, sí. Ay, ¿Dónde está mi bolita de esa? El, el pink con beige. Mm. Yeah, I've been to Canada. Um, I actually went to Canada in December, like years ago, four, five years ago. And it was very cold. We actually did a Scandinavian spa too. And we went into, um, we did one of the spas and um, I don't know if I would ever do this again, but we went into the, the hot jacuzzi and then we went into ice cold water. Because you have to close your pores after you're um, in a lot of steam like that. And I went into ice, cold water, in the middle of winter in Canada. And it was freezing. Freezing. Canada was really cold. I remember um, how cold it was. It was very cold. I remember when we first got there, our first day, um, we weren't uh, covered enough. And I remember my hands were so numb that I couldn't, and my feet were so numb that I couldn't walk anymore. We had to go into this coffee shop, this tiny little coffee shop. And I remember we all got hot chocolate and used the hot chocolate to warm our hands because it was that cold, it was freezing. It's over there. And then I'm gonna cut this one. Este que le hago? Le va a ver sí. Estos que son dinosaurios. Uh -huh. I don't know what to make with this fabric. Voy a ver lo que, y qué tienen los dinosaurios por el lado. Diseño, diseño. Tienen los nombres de dinosaurios. Bueno, le puedes hacer, puedes poner eh, el dinosaurio. Lo que me son de diferentes colores. Son, son diferentes. No te van a coincidir. Porque si haces uno con este, este es verde, este es este color, este es otro. ¿Qué tú crees? Porque podrías hacer uno de esos, pero con los, con los dientes. Creo, creo que lo voy a cortar grande. Entonces, cuando haga el diseño. Ay, me quedé en unos cuantos. Ay, mira lo que hice. Puedes ponerle ya unos dientes. listo! Eh, puedes ponerle unos dientes. No, no importa. Te voy a poner aquí, mira, un letrerito que diga. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Grabando? My dad. My dad said he's going to put a little sign on the door that says on air or not on air, so he knows if she should walk in or not. Yo me acuerdo que la leche y todo. Sí, voy a aguantar. Ahí es un helado ahí, lo dejaron ahí. No, yo le dije que traje el helado y trajo más reales. No, y traje helado. El traje no, helado de Oreos. <risa> te traje el que pidió tu mamá y te traje Oreo para ti. Ah, oh, mira, te lo puedes hacer con una nube. Sí, that's so funny. Eso mismo, ya compré la nube y todo. 
Y este con, con, uno, con unos dientes. O un arañazo. O un arañazo, sí. I like that, yeah. Sí, yo, yo compré la nube y todo ahí es para hacerlo. Sí. Con una nube ya, lo que no sabía si lo iba a hacer con un, una nube abajo o dos nubes yéndole por arriba. Pero, ay, me duele la espalda. Estoy a punto de caer con Ay, la ve. Ese a mí me encantó. Voy a usar la foto también de la muchachita. Sí. Sí, ya de los ampos nada más, no sé cuál es el otro, pero me sigue ahora. No, aquellos los tengo que terminar, obvio, me faltan los lazos, cerrados. Sí, no, yo se los dije. Tengo que terminar todavía. A ver, Oh, thank you, Zua. That's very nice of you. Yo solo puedo comer una. Más tarde. That's so sweet. I'll tell Roger. I'll tell Roger that you did that. Very nice of you. Yes, Ashley, that's actually exactly what my dad was saying. He's like, I'm going to put a sign on your door that says um, on air that has a little light. Um, now I gotta figure out the crane colors. Now, what colors are a crane? It's a very good question, Adelaida. Crane. Okay, a crane is a bird also. Crane machine, crane truck. yellow and black just like all other trucks okay so let me get some yellow So I got the yellow, I also need black. Um, I should probably do a really big piece, just in case. My back is killing me. My, my, you know what is here. So it's really making itself known to the world right now. Okay. Oh, my mom organized this, but I don't reach. Okay. Honestly, I love this table also because I feel like, do you ever get, like, is it ever satisfying for you guys when you're at the fabric store and you bring your fabric over and you see them, like, stretch it out and they're doing this and they get their scissors and the sound of the scissors and then the sound of the, of the scissors cutting through the fabric. And I'm always like, wow, I wish I could be cutting the fabric instead of them. I may be super weird and I might be the only person who thinks that. <laughs> But um, I, this this table kind of reminds me of that. Like, you know, you bring out your fabric and like you stretch out your fabric and then you take your scissors. I'll go to the gym. Okay. Hello. Okay. <laughs> um, and so like the, it kind of gives you that like feel of being at the fabric store or wherever you guys get your fabric and like cutting your own fabric, you know. Oh, let me show you guys the little llama that I bought. Uh, 
yes, the sound of fabric is so nice. The sound of fabric cutting is so nice. Like, honestly, someone should do, I know Jenny hates this. She hates ASMR. But honestly, a video focused on just cutting fabric. <gasps> Okay, so I got my fabric for the crane. I got my fabric for the crane. I got my fabric for the dinosaur one. I got my fabric for the boat one. I got my fabric for this little airplane one. Um, I'm thinking of doing a design where it's like the number and then two little clouds. Cause I, I didn't, I could do an applique of a plane, but it just wouldn't make sense to do an applique of a plane if the fabric already has planes. So I thought it would make more sense if I did little clouds um, incorporated into it so that the planes could stand out. Um, oh, that's right. I was going to show you guys the llama. gosh my back is um oh here's the little one it's so cute look at this tell me this is not the cutest little llama isn't that so cute i get excited over things like this oh my gosh that little llama is the cutest little llama and then i think that little llama is gonna look adorable with one of the tutus that my mom made um, so definitely going to do that one. I'm really excited about that one. Um, and then, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to stop there because XXL, yes. So it's actually funny. I haven't watched a lot of her videos, but I stumbled onto her a few weeks ago and I, I didn't, I, I watched one video and then I haven't watched again, but um she seems like she has her business like like set and if she has an asmr video with just cutting fabric then i'm definitely gonna go watch it after this um okay let's put the the heat and bond um let's see Back is killing me. Yes, Jenny hates ASMR. You guys live with your parents? No, we live with my parents still. Shout out from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Love you, love you too. Um, the Grenadines, is that in Grenada? I don't know if I hope that that's probably a dumb question, but I just want to know. I don't know if it's if St. Vincent is in Grenada or if it's near Grenada. It's a, uh, okay, I knew it was, I thought it was near Grenada, um, because my boyfriend went to school in Grenada, but he is, he technically is in medical school in Grenada, but because of COVID, he, um, he had to leave Grenada, so now he's doing online school, but he was there for about a year before he had to come home, which is great, very thankful for that.
I love ASMR, honestly. It's a little weird. Um, like it's a little uncomfortable when I'm like, when I'm watching ASMR. Like I never watch ASMR around Roger because I think that's it's weird. I don't know. Um, he knows that I watch it, but I always feel so uncomfortable like watching it like next to him. Isn't that so weird? Um, but I love ASMR. Like I love food ASMR, slime ASMR. Um, what kind of ASMRs do I like? I love like the sand ones where you like cut the sand. Um, just like noises like this. Like all of those ASMR ones are like, you know. Yeah, ASMR is a little cray cray. But, I mean, I feel like people do sexualize it just because of the whispering, but um, I, I don't see, honestly, in my opinion, I don't see anything sexual about it. Sorry if that's TMI, but um, some people, like, judge it and they're like, oh, it's, like, sexual, but I honestly, it's relaxing to me. Like, for me, it's, like, relaxing, it's stress-relieving. But, I mean, it's like think, thinking about how I view it is I view it as, like, going to the spa. You know, when you go to the spa, they have real music playing. Um, they whisper to you so that it's not too loud, so that you're completely relaxed. Um, so I kind of view it the same way. Um, just, like, as a stress reliever, a way to relax, a way to chill. Um, and not the way that people, like stereotype it or whatever people have a tendency to do that so if you guys see me get the little scraps of heat and bond those things are not going to waste my mom and i have a little bin right here this little bin so this bin catches tender touch and catches um, heat and bond so these little heat and bond pieces we keep them um, to make like small pieces that we like need like in a pinch. Like um, if we need just a really small piece and like we don't feel like taking this down, we'll have these here. And then these pieces are actually really good. Um, we cut these because it, it has the bottom part off, bottom part. We cut them off and then you can actually join them and put them on a shirt. Like you can put them together and you don't even... You can't even tell if you like put them together on a shirt. Um, so like we'll take two pieces and put them together to cover a design. Um, so we'll keep, we, obviously we don't keep the hard part because you know there's like a little stitched part. But if it's like a good piece of Tender Touch, we'll keep it and we'll put it um, like connected with um, other Tender Touch. I swear it works. It doesn't make it um, fall off. tingling feeling i i do i feel the tingling feeling like like the super relaxed feeling like i actually do but some people don't um don't feel it that's so funny i don't think roger feels it either like i think for him it's like neither here nor there like it's like a whatever thing so i think it just depends on the person like when slime was becoming a thing, I was all over it. I didn't even know what ASMR was, but um, and I didn't understand what that feeling was. I just knew that it was addicting. And when all that slime craze came up, I would be addicted to watching slime videos. And I didn't know why. And then I stumbled onto something called ASMR. And that's when I realized I'm like, this is it. This is what I feel when I um, listen to like slime, like people poke slime and like play with slime. So that's kind of, you know. Okay. So let me just tender touch these pieces and then we can get started on the shirts.
got to make sure I check my battery level because I was at 40% before um, getting on live. So I got to watch out for that. This one's already done. Do the llama one okay so let's bring you guys around uh let me just add the flynn design measure because I, I have a tendency to make designs way too big so I just want to measure yeah I made this way too small <laughs> let me just make it a little bigger Five and a half by, yeah, this is good. So this is DST. Okay. Oh, I can't wait for my daughter to get old enough so I can get rid of this playpen. Okay you guys oh gosh how do I do this okay um, I'm gonna bring you guys this way to this side so it's funny because I bought a nicer, um, I bought a nicer, what are those things called? What are those things called? Uh, tripod, tripod. I bought a nicer tripod, like a way nicer one. It cost me like $50. And then I got this table, which the reason I got the tripod was because the other tripod wasn't too tall to be able to put the camera over the design, but now I have this table and I don't need a tripod anymore. So, yes. But it did work because um, it was nice for when I filmed my supplies video. So it helped for that. Okay, we're at 49%. Remind me to check my phone battery in like 30 minutes. One thing that's good about my daughter's playpen is I can sit down on the edge. Now to decide the colors.
Okay, so it's gonna start with the number two. I actually didn't think about a color I was gonna do for the number two. What color do you guys think I should make the number two? Green? Um, yeah. I think. So I'm going to do the crane yellow and black. What color do you guys think I should make the number two? Ooh, I like brown. I like brown. Ooh, thanks, Sandra. Totally gonna do brown. Let me turn on the machine, the ironing machine before it gets too cold. Ah, my slippers on backwards. Okay, so I have brown. Great thinking, Sandra. I'm gonna do this color. This one. Bear with me guys, one second. I'll be right there. Let me just, it's still hot. So I actually, I'm gonna do this very fast. I hate when you unroll the tender, the heat and bond, then you have to take it out again. Neatly put it back. Second, second. Might be a bit damped. This is done. Let me just put this back because I can't just leave it out. It will give me a panic attack. So let me put my fabrics back. I have to, like, as I, like, even when I've made dinner, um, I grab the stuff that I need and then I put it back. Like, I just, I don't know, I can't work, like, not putting the stuff back. Obviously, I don't do it all the time. Sometimes I take things out and I leave them there, but um, makes me feel sense. Yes, I saw that. I saw that you got your surgery, Nita. Congrats, my mom. Actually, my dad was gonna give my mom two hundred and fifty dollars, and I think she's gonna get the surgery with it too. Um, now I have another issue. I don't have brown on the machine. So now I gotta put brown on the machine. I'm never gonna get to my llama design. Um, and layer.
if you guys are new, um, I just wanted to remind you guys, um, if you guys are interested in this machine or a Recoma machine, I have a link down below that will get you free shipping and a few hundred dollars off. Um, so, you, or if you have any questions um, about the machine or about financing, so um, click the link below and you can ask them any questions that you may have about the machine. It could be this machine, the 10 needle machine, whichever machine. Okay, so now that I have the brown put in, I'm gonna put the steps. Hi, Danny. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna put the steps now. Just gonna bring the computer here and I go by the steps on the computer so the first thing is the brown eleven then it's the actual crane and that's nine Then it's the wheels, that's four, there's a black thread. Then it's gonna be um, the tires, which I'm gonna do yellow also. I'm going to do those parts orange, then yellow, then black, then brown. Brown was 11. What the heck is the name? Part, where does it even part of? Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. I see that. What? color should I do his name? Yes, so for every design you have to put the steps. Is that what you're asking, Nita? Do you guys know what color I should do the name? Should I do it orange? I think I'm gonna do it orange. Yeah, I'm gonna do it orange. Okay, we can start now. Okay, let's bring you guys in closer. You guys are with me while I do the shirt. Um, so it's here. you guys see? Um, should I bring you guys closer or? You can't really see anything there, but that's because the number only stitched.
So if you guys have issues, I say this a lot, but if you guys have issues with like you putting the fabric and it like starts sewing but bubble, like go like this and leave like a little dent. Um, I use 505 spray, the temporary spray, and I spray just a little bit either on the shirt or on the actual fabric itself. And then I put it on and I, oh, and I put my hand underneath like the tiniest amount. That way when it's um, sewing, it doesn't like move around because since that jumps, it kind of makes the fabric jump, especially if there's friction. Um, so I definitely recommend putting a tiny, tiny bit of the 505 spray um, right before, uh, the only thing that I find that's annoying, but it's not annoying enough to stop, is that when it sews and you're cutting, um, the 505 spray is so stuck. But just make sure that you lift it very well, because then you can cut the shirt, um, which has happened to me, unfortunately. sure that there's no 505 spray so that I don't um, cut the shirt and then what I do if it's in like a little curve and I know that there's 505 spray I'll take the scissors and push it under so that I separate the actual shirt from the 505 spray but it really does make a difference especially if you get that bubbling um, my mom and I don't do this on our single needle machine. We didn't find it necessary because we kind of hold it down. It'll work if you're going to put it down and walk away. But since we sit by the machine and watch it, we don't find it necessary. Um, but for this machine, since we kind of put it and then walk away, um, that we find that the 505 spray really helps with making sure that nothing's like bouncing around. Sorry, it's a little bit of a small shirt and I'm scared that it's going to tuck. Hey, Gabby. Yes, guys, Jenny and Sandy got, um, well, I don't, I don't know if I should read the comment. Um, Jenny, never mind. I'll let them say. I think Jenny already said it. Once this starts embroidering, I'm going to sit by the, um, the single needle and I'm going to do a different design. Yes, oh my god, there's 188 of you guys. That's so amazing. I can't believe 188 people are watching me in like my little small room. Isn't that crazy? It's insane. Kind of like really makes you like... When you think about it, like, wow, that's a lot of people. I'm a 
really excited for this train. I think it's gonna look so cute. Oh, Cynthia, it's happening again. Guys, Cynthia's messages, for some strange reason, um, they always come out like if I need to approve them first. I don't know why. I always feel so bad. Girl, check. Maybe you have your channel as like an adult channel or something. I just had to approve it again. I don't know why it always happens. It's so weird. shouldn't have had my thumb there, Jesus. Okay. Oh no, I didn't realize it sewed something there to bring this up higher. shirt and then I put the stabilizer underneath. a little too big for this shirt um and so I, i'm scared that the shirt's gonna like tuck into where the leg um where the bobbin is in there's this like long leg um and i'm scared that the shirt because it moves is gonna like tuck in underneath it which has happened to me before um so i'm just trying to avoid that from happening i have to get a hoop I have to buy a hoop that's, um, cause this one's 11 inches. I need to get one that is like, uh, maybe nine, nine inches.
The magnet, the mighty who? Yeah, I gotta get that one. Yes, you can use Mighty Hoops with the Recoma. So this one, I'm not going to put any... I don't think it's going to move too much. I don't think that matters. I think it's gonna do a thick embroider. Okay, so while that's embroidering, the singer. Paranoid. Let me check my battery. All right, I am at 38%. Since I'm near the charger, I'm going to put this to charge. All right, we are charging.
Okay, so now on this machine, I'm gonna make this design. Um, this one, it's going to have this fabric on the one, and then the um, steering wheel, I know it has a, is it a hem? Is that the name? I don't remember. Um, the steering wheel is going to be in red, and then the name in blue as well. This one's fairly simple. Um, I buy my embroidery thread from allstitch.com. dove into the machine like you really can't touch the machine unless you're experienced um, when you first get it it's, it's more recommended for you to do the training first um, so I waited until I did the training and then as soon as I did the training I dove into the machine and um, I love it and my mom has gotten comfortable with it um, I, I'm super comfortable with it now and yeah I love it for sure on this one, but I do hope the shirt on the Ricoma. Okay, 
Okay, so while it's embroidering the name, I think I'm gonna work on the next design on my laptop. Um, I use poly neon. Yes, 100% polyester. Thread. Sorry, I should have said that. I just literally can't see anything. The crane shirt is coming out adorable. see the machine going right let me keep it on here and then I'm gonna bring you guys around to me that way I can show you guys the design that I'm gonna do now Sorry. my my recoma is a 15 meter but they also have a 10 needle. This single needle machine is a Singer. It's a Singer EM200. you ever buy an applique and then when you buy one it like gives you um, like different ones after you buy that one that are similar and then you're like damn I like that one more and that's happening to me right now which I'm gonna buy because I prefer these clouds over the cloud that I just bought. Um, I use polyester threads. Does it seem more, I think it's more like a one year fabric, right? A two, you guys think I should do a two for this one? Okay, so I guess we'll do a two. Yeah, I think a two would be cute too. about to be done too which I have to hold it in a second but um I'll show you guys now oh I think my thread 
red bro. Um, if you guys give me just two minutes, I can see what happened. I think the thread broke. Um, I'll show you guys how I merge designs together on a brilliance. Um, I am not an expert on a brilliance. I only know how to do very basic things. Um, so I'll, for, for you guys that are beginners with Embrilliance, I'll show you guys what it is that I do on Embrilliance to merge designs together. Um, usually I like to tinker with designs like I don't know if you guys have noticed but um, like when I see a design I'll like move it around and like change it around to like my liking and like what I want to do I just I always do that um, so that's what I'm gonna do now with this fabric um, so just give me a second let me just see what happened here investigate Sorry guys, just give me one second. Let me just get this shirt started and then I'll show you guys what it is that I do um, on Embrilliance to merge appliques together. Yes, the Singer embroidery machine has a bigger hoop. I think they're the same price.
Alright, just give me one second. I have to take pictures of all of these samples tomorrow. My god, my hair is like way too long. I need to cut it. So long. Oh. Yeah, I feel bad sometimes. Like when I'm going on live, I'm like, ah, I hope no one else is going live. Cynthia, let me approve your comment. <laughs> thank you, girl. Thank you. I love it. It's so cute. Almost ate my shirt over there. Being distracted. Um, change my thread weight for certain designs? No. I don't, I don't really know what that is, honestly. Thank you, Amber, because honestly, I have no idea the difference. Still pretty much an amateur, but I'm learning. Trying to learn as best as I can. Let 
me do that design. I'm pretty okay with this embroidery by itself. show you guys what it is that I do to make appliques and bring them together. Okay, so I'm going to go into Embrilliance and I'm going to go to File and I'm going to do New Page and I'm going to, okay, I hope you guys can see there. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna go here. I did a new page. I'm gonna go to file again. I'm gonna do open. And I have my little hard drive here, which I use for my YouTube videos and also my embroidery designs. It's a one terabyte and it's super fast. Um, if you guys do YouTube, I actually sent this to Amber today. Um, this little thing is amazing. Um, my boyfriend said that this is a solid state drive. I have no idea what that means, but um, it just makes me, um, it helps me with downloading and uploading um, my files super fast. Um, and it's one terabyte and it's great. It's definitely helped me keep my laptop clean and not have like a bunch of unnecessary memory. Okay. And I think they have it on Amazon. Let me, hold on, let me link it for you guys. Hold on, you all. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Uh, hold on, I gotta log into my Amazon. Give me one second. Sorry. I just want to link it for you guys because honestly it's amazing. I'm going to put it under and I'm going to call it hard drive. It's a little pricey guys, but I definitely recommend it. So it's now in my description box if you guys want to um, get the little hard drive that I use. Oh my god, Amber. Yes, <laughs> she would. Her stuff would take hours to download. All right. Let me, okay, so I'm going to go to open, I'm going to go into my, I have a, a specific file where I have all of my embroidery files, um, and I'm going to put out the number two, 
I'm going to do a five by seven. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. You guys can for the most part. Um, so now that I have the number two out, I'm going to um, drag and drop one of the little clouds. So I'm going to go to the cloud. And I think I'm going to do a number two cloud. In a two inch. Let's do a two inch. So now I have, this is too small, too small of a two inch. Maybe three and a half inch. You know, this green is really throwing me off. All right, let's change it. To a blue, a light blue. Okay, so I changed. It looks more like a green, but whatever. Uh, ooh, and it's nice because the thickness of the cloud is actually the same thickness of the um, number. So it would be kind of, it's going to kind of like create an illusion um, that it's within that the fabric is like coming out um, of the design. So I really like that. Um, let's do a little bright blue. Oh my gosh, that is really cute. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do another cloud. Um, I'm going to do the number one cloud, I think. And that one, I'll probably do a two inch. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I, I really like that. My mom's going to love this. That is so adorable. So adorable. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a name. What name should I put you guys? Start giving me some names. That's a very good question. No, I use my USB because since the hard drive is USB-C to USB-C, um, I can't plug the hard drive into, actually I could plug it because I have a, it comes with a USB-C to a USB. Um, no, I actually use the USBs. That's weird because the, the Recoma uses a 16 gigabyte, like the, the USB that the Recoma came with is a 16 gigabyte. Yes, guys, if you get the Recoma, digitizing software comes with it. So that's a really big plus. Um, I actually have a training soon um, for the digitizing software. So if you guys do decide to get a Recoma, um, after I do the training for the Recoma, for the Chroma software that comes with the Recoma machine, I'll be doing a video on how to use that one instead of the Embrilliance. Um, so what name, guys, what name should I put on the shirt? Let me think of one. Hmm. Let me think of one really quick while I... Oh, I like Oakley. Um, Oakley reminds me of the twins. I don't know if you guys watch them, Tatum and Oakley from the Fish Fam. It's a super cute name. Such a really good unisex name. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to change the thread so that this starts doing the sailboat wheel. Steering wheel thing. Hem, whatever it's called. I have no idea what it's called. Helm? Helm. Is it called Helm? Uh, 
Um, the external hard drive is linked in the description. I called it hard drive. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. Um, okay, I'm going to do Oakley. I'm, I almost wrote Amber. Oakley. <laughs> an eye out on the embroidery machine. Okay, let's see what condensed. This is cute. doing it this way because I want it to stay in the center of the design. Maybe this isn't the best way to do it, but that's how I like it. So I have a little 2T here, and the shirt right, that size right now is a 4 by 5 so let me just measure and see. about the design being centered. <laughs>
Oh yeah, you guys might have to refresh um, your page to see the link for the external hard drive. All right. Let me bring out the table. Oh, my dad bought me sweets and now I'm craving them. Hold on, guys. My boyfriend is calling me. Hold on. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's not tweeting. She's still watching TV with my head. Yeah. bought me some KFC. God, Amber, that's so amazing. I remember you would always talk about the videos taking forever. Oh my God, now my laptop is dying. When is ever not one of my devices dying? Just like when? I don't understand. I think I might have saved this design in my hard drive by accident. I don't know what I saved it in.
sorry, I'm just making edits on the design so that it fits on that hoop. The other shirt is done, so let me show you guys. Aw, it's so cute. Everything is cute for me. Okay. Let me just take off the threads. Oh my god, my mom is gonna love this one. You guys see how I'm just like throwing it? I mean. Anybody, can anybody relate on, on pieces of little threads? Oh. type incorrect. What did I do? How did I corrupt it? No. Mami, apuesta en mi cuarto, pero espera hasta que Roger venga y se bañe. No, no, es que yo quiero que uno conmigo. Ah, porque el desastre no va a venir. ¿Cuánto lo tiene? Entonces voy a esperar, voy a, a, a poner el equipo. ¿Llegué hasta en la cuna de ella? No, yo le recogí la cuna y... Ellos se pierden y de momento aparecen. them inside the house because usually she fries them outside in the kitchen outside she hates the smell of frying food in the house have you guys ever noticed how when you fry food you smell like that food for like ever until you shower Obviously, I still have to iron it, but this is how it turned out. Let me check if you guys can see it very well. Sorry, you guys can't see anything. Isn't that so cute? I love it. So, all I did was um, I got the fabric, and I already had the number because I bought a set of numbers, a number applicate. And then I bought the, the helm. 
steering wheel. I should probably just use them. Um, and then, yeah. But yeah, it's two designs basically together. So cute. I love it. Mom? Mommy? Mommy? She's changing the baby. I'll show her now. Okay. So next is this one. Take the shirt. Every time you press those buttons, my son thinks it's a fire alarm. Honestly, it kind of does sound like that. Not gonna lie. Let me set the colors. Okay, so this blue, I'm going to do it with like a lighter blue. Eight, just number eight. And then the clouds, I'm going to do them. Ay, yo pensaba que la tabla que tenías puesta era la de la máquina. Yo dije, yo nunca había visto la mesa con la tabla, no. la máquina con la mesa puesta. Digo, la máquina con la tabla puesta. I think I'm going to do the clouds in blue. Okay, so that they stand out a little bit. Maybe this blue. Do them in um hold on. I think I'm zoomed in. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hurry. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this blue. What do you guys think? clouds or should I do them white? I just feel like you won't see them if I do them white. Mom? I think the 10 needle costs about 10,000. Um, and then... Yeah, I'm going to do the light blue. Oh my gosh, my boyfriend's playing the music so loud in the car. I can hear the bass. Can you guys hear? Alright, hold on. My computer's about to die. You guys can hear the music so loud. All right, let me, I'll be right back. I need to ask my mom's opinion. Mommy? ¿Qué tú crees de esto? Mira cómo dice el diseño. Mira, Alicia me ha dado un arañazo en la cara con el, con el libro. Ay, 
Sí, toda tiza linda. Pero hago las nubes de este color o las hago blancas. Eh, yo creo que este color está bien. Está bien. Porque, bueno, el, el color es blanco. Sí. Yo creo que. Ay, no sé qué me eh, yo creo que sí, porque esto está más oscuro. Yeah. Y, y si la haces así, le pones blanco por el hilo blanco. ¿No? ¿Tú crees? No sé cómo se vería. ¿Qué tú crees? O no, no crees. O, o un... I think that'd be cute with a white. Sí, porque esto tiene blanco aquí. Yeah. Ok. Yeah, con yo hilo creo que blanco. se va a ver bien con hilo blanco. Ok. Sí, me gusta esa idea. Sí. Okay. ¿Quieres traérmela? No. Yo la voy a ir a encorrar y ya tiene los libros. Yo la voy a traer. Ok, mami. Stabilizer. Yeah, but the camera's pointed this way. Um, yeah, baby. Checking to make sure that this little footer here doesn't hit the plastic. It's a very important step. I almost missed it. Now we can start. So somebody actually said white clouds and blue outline, and I actually think I like that better. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. Who said it? Who said it? Who said it? Jenny and Victoria. Thank you, ladies. I really like that idea. Hey, Maddie. All right. Okay. 
Now I just got to make sure that the airplane shows because these airplanes are actually pretty big. So I need to make sure that they come out. So I think how I'm going to do it is that at least you can see like the wing, the propellers. Um, you can see the tip of this one. Oh, I did not realize this, how difficult this one was going to be. Okay, perfect. Right there where I have it is going to be. See, this is why the 505 spray is so nice because it really helps with you keeping the design right where you want it when you first place it down, especially for a cookie like this. Oops. think next time I'm going to make the two a little bit bigger. Um, I feel like you can barely see the airplane. So I think I'm going to make the two bigger next time. Oh, I feel 
like I should have done the two bigger. double so so I don't know if you guys know this but one thing that I do when I have an applique on top of an applique and it's like a light fabric on top of a darker fabric I get the pieces that are tender touched and I lay them on top of each other and I put it on the piece that way you have more of an op opaque layer and you don't see that fabric underneath where the two is marked. Um, and the heat and bond that's on this on this piece of fabric will stick to the other piece of fabric that the heat and bond also has that will stick to the shirt, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's a great way if you don't want like the other applique to be seen underneath. Oh no, side of the nail into the back of the finger. So I, I kind of want to show you. So you'll see, you don't really see the two. You kind of do, but it's very hidden. If I would put this over top with just one layer, you could see more of the two. You see? 
but on this piece that's doubled, you don't see the little mark as much, in my opinion. It makes the difference. Especially for like Mickey or like Minnie Mouse. Um, it'll like do the head, but then you'll have like when it does the bow, you can see the top part of the black in under the bow. So my mom and I um, double the fabric of the bow. That way you can't see it. A sewing table or a crafting table it um, it folds on each side so it actually fits perfectly here on the side um, or you can have like one side down one side up so it's perfect you yeah you can do that too you can just cut the fabric underneath I'm very lazy so I feel like that's a pain in the butt for me. Um, so I just double it. But you can for sure cut it. Honestly, that's way better because you really don't see it like that. Yeah, on skin too, like if you're doing like dolls and stuff. Oh, these braces. Whenever I talk a lot, the constant rubbing. I promise, guys, I don't mind having braces. Someone said in my, a comment the other uh, day, like, oh, don't fuss about your braces, like, be grateful. I am grateful. I'm just, I'm a complainer. <laughs> but I promise I am grateful that I have my braces, and I just, like, it bothers me, so I'm like, it's bothering me, but I mean, I'm, trust me, when my teeth are fixed, I'm going to be eternally grateful and it's going to be super worth it. Yeah, I like my singer. Oh, the, oh, my mom... Yeah, my mom loves that singer. My boyfriend actually bought it for her for Christmas. And she loves it. She loves it, loves it. So happy I did the white fabric with blue. Thank you so much for telling me that right when I was gonna do the blue fabric. I was really doubtful. This so much I'm so grateful for you guys. When I'm doing these samples on live, it's great because you guys literally tell me the best things to do. Um, no, we bought the um the table separately. Kate, what? I don't know. Hi! Yummy? 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 
Actually, for me, it's not going to be that difficult. I'll show you guys the design now. Ah. Um, so for me, it's actually not going to be that difficult. She doesn't use her pacifier um, during the day. She only uses it to sleep. And sometimes it. I do put little passy bombs in her crib where I put like six. That way if she wakes up, she can find one. But um. She doesn't use the passies during the day. She only uses them at night. She sometimes uses them during the day, but it's very rare. It's like if she finds one on the floor. Um, and then she'll put it in her mouth. But, um, yeah, I made that a point. Like, my niece, she loves her passy, but, and she wears it all day. Um, but the reason that she wears it all day is because she screams a lot. So when she's screaming, we just, like put the passy in um, um but for her we we never um got used to putting the passy well during the day mainly at night so i think for me it's going to be easier 
But then again, she does use it to sleep, so it is kind of like a crutch. So it might be difficult to sleep. But I mean, I think it'll only last like three days. Like we used to co-sleep with her um, when she was a baby. And finally, she she's a horrible sleeper. Like she'll wake up in the most horrible positions and like we won't sleep right. And when um, I finally bit the bullet, my boyfriend was like, no more. She's not sleeping in the bed with us anymore. I had to struggle for like three days. I didn't sleep for three days, but um that's how long it took her to get used to sleeping in the crib by herself and falling asleep by herself because for the longest time um she I, me and my mom would have to sleep her like we'd have to rock her to sleep um for a long time and then when i stopped when i decided to stop co-sleeping that's when um we stopped putting her to sleep and then we stopped co-sleeping so she learned how to put herself to sleep and also um, sleep in the crib. My mom does, because she sleeps with my mom and, and me both. Like, she'll sleep in my mom's room in a pack and play, or she'll sleep with me in her crib, in my room in her crib. Um, but when she sleeps with me, she doesn't wake up, and then I don't pass her to the bed un unless it's, like, morning and we're waking up, and then I put her in the bed and we play with her. But with my mom, it's like she has my mom wrapped around her little finger, because my mom says that she always wakes up at like 6 a.m. And my mom passes her into the bed. So. She knows the difference of when she's sleeping with me and when she's sleeping with my mom. Alright. So cute. Look at this. You guys. Tell me that is not. the. Key. This is my favorite one. Out of the three, out of the three samples, she's playing with baseball. Out of the three designs that we did today, this one is for sure my favorite, and I'm most happy about the fact that we put the the white fabric in the clouds with the blue thread. This is. And it was really simple. I mean, you guys saw how I did it. I literally just got clouds on Etsy. I bought some cloud appliques. And then I got the number and just put... Thankfully, one of the cloud appliques was a... One of the clouds was flat at the bottom. So I was able to, like, join the number and the cloud together. Like this. So... Like, I got really lucky because the cloud and the number are the exact same thickness. So, it kind of looks like it's part of the design, but it's actually two different designs that I bought. So, and you saw how fast I did it. So, you guys can definitely do this at home. Um, and I got the fabric at, um, I want to say I got this fabric at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I think I, but I mean, I get my fabrics at either Hobby Lobby, Michael's, or Joann's. So I, but I'm pretty sure this one's from Hobby Lobby. And then I got the, the clouds on Etsy. Um, I, if you look up on Etsy, cloud applique set, um, you'll see a picture of four different clouds. And just make sure that one of them is flat so that you can put it at the bottom of the number. Um, and then the number is like a rounded number. Um, that's what the listing was called. It's called rounded number set. And then this was this font. I got it. Um, I think it's, it came with the umbrella. So for sure, my favorite of the day for sure. All right, let me put it over there and let me say good night. Cause I am about to throw up. Nauseous as hell. Bebe, you ready for bedtime, baby? You wanna go to night? You wanna go to night? All right. Yeah, boy. Um. So thank you guys so so much for coming and joining me on the live. I really appreciate it. I missed you guys.
What? What do you want? Use words. Use words. You want that? Can you say please? Can you say please? Can you say please? No, 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 no. She says no so clearly, but cannot say yeah. please. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me on the live. Um, please track and make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. And I'm so excited because when we get to 10,000 subscribers, remember, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a heat press and a cricket. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed. And um, again, if you guys are interested in an embroidery machine, make sure to click the link down below you guys can ask me Koma, whatever you guys whoa, want whoa. whoa um and also if you guys are interested in embroidery blanks i have an affiliate link also with angela i'm sure you guys have heard of her um she's the famous angela jasmina from kids customs designs um and there's an affiliate link down there as well if you guys are interested <laughs> in embroidered blanks Oi! You choke on your own saliva? Mia, Mia. Mouth? Nose. Nose? Where's my nose? Where's my nose? Good job. Good job. Alrighty, guys. I will see you guys later. I'm going to put this baby down to sleep. And I'm going to eat some KFC. Alright, bye, guys. Love you. Wee! I can't end this. I oh, hold on, baby. Give me one second. Mama has to get her phone. Bye, guys.